Welcome to another daily recap for Monday, November 6, 2023. You're looking at a one minute chart of the SPY or spiders, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Everything between the two vertical dotted lines is Monday's activity in the spiders. And the horizontal line is the only level that was hit in the spiders and produced a trade today. The levels in the spiders that are calculated daily before the market opens are the basis for activating trades in the E-mini futures or ES. So let's take a closer look at how today's trade played out. There were actually seven levels identified before the market opened, and one level was less of a calculation and more of an observation. This 434.70 was where the spiders closed on Friday, November 3, the previous trading day. And there were other reasons why this was a good level to consider. That's why it was on the board before the market opened this morning, and it happened to be the only level which produced the trade of the day. So whether I'm trading these levels manually or keying them in to trigger E-mini trades automatically, I apply a five cent buffer to the levels in the spiders. In this case, a resting buy order was in the system to buy E-mini contracts if the spiders touch 434.75. And as you can see, that happened at 10.15 a.m. in the morning. The spiders found a low of 434.74, one penny below the level identified, and they took off from there. So a nice solid base hit. Here you can see in the tracking log the seven levels that were identified and on the board for Monday, and the 434.70 is the only one that produced the base hit. So there's not much more to say about today's trade, just another clean, and simple base hit. So keep piling on the base hits and watch your account grow. That's all there is to it. Hope you found this information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.